Let's rock, baby. He just gave this boy what he wanted. Ifrit, that's what it's called. Ifrit, Ifrit. Not a fan of the Ifrit. Oh, look at that. Uh, I mean, I, I think it's cool, but is it as useful as it is later on? It's better when you upgrade it, for sure. Yeah. It's just there for cool points right now. I fucks with it. Just cause. The concept is cool. Like if you know in DMC three, uh, or that will make Cry three, but like Virgil having it as part of his toolkit, just and it, for him it was kind of like a fun little thing, and then he got yeah, tired of it. he's like nah, it's cool, it's fine. All I need is Yamato. Yamato's all I need. Real shit though, he fucks shit up with Yamato. Do you know how cool the spinning swords, the blue fucking projectile swords around him? Uh, fucking, what are they called? I don't even know. But Summon swords. Yeah. Hey, this guy. I don't remember this fight. It's perfect. Oh, uh, I remember that though. Fucking bird. Oh, shit. I think you can use this? No. Right. Wait, what did, what did that do? They're uh, platforms. Oh. Not very well. Very reliable. Uh. <laughs> That's not what I want. You want a double trigger? I'm already using it. Oh. Oh, you are. Uh, You're oh. not jumping, man. You're not jumping. Stylish. Stylish, but like still dying. What? Oh. I might die here. Oh, I don't doubt it. <laughs> but it was Ooh. still fun to watch, you know, like... Do your best! Oh. You know as the Japanese say? Kanbe? Do your best! Fighto! <laughs> yeah, fighto! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Okay. Oh. Oh, somehow he lived. He just rolled. That's, yeah. Yeah. Get yeah, fucked, Bergemon. Oh, please let me make it. Hey, is that his weakness or some shit? I mean, if you get up close to him, yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, oh right. my god. <laughs> you not have a green star or whatever it's called? You want me to use items in a hey. may cry game? Hey, I'm saying you could. Instead what of using up my pride. I mean, it's up to you. You're the one dying. <laughs> <laughs> I remember there were some bosses that were where pride did not matter anymore. It was more of a like, you know what? Fuck this guy. About the principle now. Well, don't get me wrong. At some point, you get good enough that you don't need the item. But yeah, man. Stylish. I don't like you styling on them like that. <laughs> That's on my DT back. For that, I need. And come back. Speaking of DT, was that song from the five? I know a lot of people were like nutting themselves over the music. Are you talking about the really bad one where it's like grungy metal 
I don't know, man. I don't know about the songs like that. I just remember there was like this song where it's like my devil trigger or some shit oh, like that's, that. That's for uh, for Nero. That's for Nero. Yeah. When does it like kick in? In the intro, I think. In the intro. Yeah. Cause like I know I heard it, but I, I forgot what was happening. I I only played. Um, what was it like? I remember he was on a, like a, a van with uh, a girl. Uh, the girl. I don't know her name. Her name Nico? I guess. And she's like, oh yeah, um, you gonna take care of my babies or whatever. She's talking about the, the what are they the called? Yeah, the they arms. Like yeah, the arms that he has. Uh, oh yeah. Cause you know, she crafts all this shit for him. Yeah, and her mom crafted the gun for Dante. Yeah, something like that. So she's essentially this craftsman for him, for Nero. And this is essentially just showing you like, oh, it's the next generation, everything. Oh shit. I kind of like that though, about her. Uh, but beyond that, I don't know. I, don't, I really honestly don't really know. Uh huh. Like who you fight, what you're fighting, shit like that. Like, I don't know the other bosses. I just know the ultimate bad guy, and I know why he's the ultimate bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> that is like, as much as I try to hide from that, like, it just kind of still made its way to me. And I'm like, fuck. Uh -huh. Why you gotta spoil that, man? That was supposed to be like the ultimate fucking thing at the end i'm supposed to be like oh my god yeah, and there is some pretty good stuff you still don't know about that's good to know i still haven't finished it I, I i started it and just never went back to it i was just really hyped to play something else at the time oh do i have to fucking wear different for this like honestly Devil May Cry is like, like as a series, it's, so, it's, it's such an integral part of my childhood. <laughs> but I don't know. After like three, I just wasn't really feeling it after they made the change to Nero. Like honestly, when they, you know, he came in to the fucking franchise, like, I was kind of like what in the, the middle. Fuck? Where's oh. my Dante? Yeah, that honestly, yeah, I was like, where's Dante? What? He's only at the back end of the game where you I only get got, to play him for like half an hour. I gotta fight Dante? And I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. I gotta fight Dante. But then I was like, wait, so is Dante bad or what the fuck? I mean, he's been killing the Pope and killing all these innocent people, right? Yeah, that's the part that was like confusing. It wasn't a bad game by any means, but it was probably one of the... I think it, it wasn't bad. It was just rushed wasn't my favorite i still think it's better than two <laughs> absolutely yeah. yeah like three dude are we gonna play two uh you want to play two no not really you want me to play two not really <laughs> i don't want to sit through a game a, a playthrough of that you don't want to shoot the gun over and over again nah, i'm good battle the flesh tanks and I'm good villains. I'm good the only reason I would want you to play it is to play it as the girl and I don't even know her yeah, name I, <laughs> yeah, I don't even know her name either <laughs> she's the only good part of it and we don't know her name it starts with an L I think like Linka something like no Lena Le Linka I don't I don't I need to figure this out now. What is her fucking name? I know she's a demon too. But I don't know. I don't remember why. I don't know if she's the last bad dude's daughter or some shit. Lucia. Lucia. Uh, I think. Yeah. It's Lucia. But you're right, it was a L. I don't know where I fucking pulled out Linka from. You remember the Eber? big titty demon from 4? Four? 4, 4, 4, 4. 
it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's like this essentially the the, yeah yeah i know who that is what's her name what do you mean what's her name it's uh it's, it's trish no what that's trish what are you talking about what are you, what are you talking about <laughs> what are you talking about dark skin like silver hair showing that, that, that ass and titties yeah yeah that's trish really yes what the hell was she in disguise did, did you yes i don't remember <laughs> i just remember the dark chick i fucking loved her okay not for the reason <laughs> not for story reasons okay hey guess what i got air hike now okay i, I didn't i wasn't paying attention <laughs> Like, you bought it or passively? Yeah, I, I bought it. Oh, okay. I was not paying attention because I was looking this shit up. Is it really? Yes. Because I remember the church guy going like, Ooh. Oh, yeah. Like, I think they were grouped up or whatever at the time. They were like, hey, like. like she brought us us the sword of Sparta. Some shit like that. Yeah, she did it to earn their trust. Right. I don't remember that. It's... Like, like I said, that's been such a long time. I haven't played that shit since, like, fucking 20 what, like, Jesus, it's been longer than I thought. <laughs> it, like, before 2010. Because I know I, I, I had it on PlayStation 3. And I haven't used my PlayStation 3 since, like, 2012. Technically today, but... I mean, today I just turned it on to show you <laughs> What I have, what I still have I have a fucking bunch full of games Which is unheard of in nowadays Now it's like Yeah Yeah, your little CD binder with all your games in it A fucking binder full of games I remember like my younger cousins uh, or like whoever just came to hang out they'd be like wow you got so many fucking games like pages and pages <laughs> of games I, it used to be the same for me when i used to visit my uncles uh -huh. and they would show me like a binder full of like music cds and i was like holy shit you have everything i want to listen to but i'm just not allowed to listen to because in my home it was very strict it was like i don't have to buy air hiking you know my mom would just smack the shit out of me for or even saying something that's like shit or damn. And if I play the music, that was like, fuck them bitches. Some shit like that. <laughs> you know I'm gonna get smacked. A robo now busted on her ass. Shit like that. So I can't listen to that. I mean, that was actually pretty good parenting though. <laughs> I can't blame him for that. But sometimes it'd be like a song where like some dude is just like kind of just getting shit off his chest. Man, I used to listen to a lot of Marilyn Manson. Right. Back in my early teens. And my mom was like, what are you listening to? And she was like, here, put on a song. And she like, of course, it randomly plays. I don't like the drugs, but the drugs like me. <laughs> and she's like, what does that say? <laughs> oh, he's saying, no le gustan las drogas. He doesn't like drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the way you sound, Mark. It's funny. I don't like drugs, but the drugs like me. I don't like, I don't like. I, I don't remember how the songs even go. You know, the f I don't like the that's the only time I get nostalgia of any kind. And I know like a while back we were talking about nostalgia. Uh-huh. But like music does that to me. It's not that I want to go back and revisit it. But it's, I'm just like, wow, isn't that a fucking blast from the past? Lincoln Park, AMVs. Fucking <laughs> Naruto AMVs. God damn it. <laughs> Not all the, all the, <laughs> in the end, <laughs> fucking motherfuckers. Yo, oh, uh, Mike, uh, you know Naruto, right? Yeah, of course I know Naruto. Of did course, you, of you, course. Did you see the new Boruto time skip where they made Serata look like a fucking stripper? 
That's Whoa. Just cool. What? Type in Naruto time skip Serata. Uh, yeah, how old are they now? I don't know. I probably shouldn't say that she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> how old are they? Hey, maybe old enough. I don't know. Old enough. Old enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mike. She's old enough. He's a no old enough to know about these nuts. <laughs> some kind value the mist and must choose the right path. And to off that, only those who protect the weak light shall have the power to decipher the right path. Like my thing is like Nar do you remember like in the old like the old Naruto though? Like uh even like the original Naruto where uh essentially Naruto would split himself up into a bunch of shadow clones. Uh-huh. And how, and how fucking bullshit that was. Yeah, honestly, yeah. He, he's essentially grinding out levels. Like, he he accumulated XP a lot faster than your average guy because he essentially is living multiple lives at the same time. Uh -huh. So when he recombined himself, all of their cumulative XP just came into one being. And they were like, yeah, man. You essentially grinded out like three months worth. You grinded out another three. And before you know it, it was like, you add all of this shit up, it comes up to years, right? Yeah, like, oh, it's gonna take you uh, 10 years to master the Sharingan. Right. But if you use your clones, we can probably get it down in a week. Fuck what? You. you did it in a day? What? You, you, yeah, I turned into 500 Shadow Clones. Then I did a thousand. Then those guys were like, you know what? Let's turn into 2,000. Like, the whole point of Naruto is like, oh, if you work hard, you can become Hokage. You can be what you want to be. But you need to have God's power you on your side. The power of God. <laughs> you need to be the reincarnation of this ancient being or whatever. But, like, <laughs> my thing is, if that is true about experience, as a teenage boy, well, I, I, in the beginning, he's like, what, like, well, or some shit, right? I'm not like that. And he can shadow clone himself into a female, right? Yeah. So yeah. imagine, yeah. imagine as a teenager, he just had sex with himself. His male version with his, <laughs> with his female version. And then wouldn't Naruto essentially be learning how to please a man and please a woman at the same time? Essentially becoming the ultimate sexual being. <laughs> 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 He's like, yo, I've just been grinding out <laughs> dick for so long. <laughs> His own I'm dick. I'm sure there's a doujin out there for that. And also, does that make him gay? Or is it just masturbation? <laughs> I, I would say it's probably masturbation. Cause it's himself, man. He's just he's pleasing himself. But what if he was having sex with the male version of himself? Would that be gay? Or would that be masturbation? That's the thing, but Naruto just... I think it still technically counts as masturbation, because he's technically <sighs> just... Again? ...the experience of himself. <laughs> again? You're fighting Phantom again. No, Yo, I, I swear, Phantom dude. Phantom. I swear, Naruto is one of those characters that just... ...confuses me. Uh -huh. When you start putting what-ifs into his existence, into his exi like... When you take his actual experiences that he went through and then you just you put whatever then you're like man what what the fuck really like ranma uh-huh ranma made me question everything i knew as a fucking teenager i was like what that was one of those things that was like yo does that make me gay if i like the female version of yeah. this character yeah like fucking 13 year old me is like i don't i don't understand <laughs> i don't understand <laughs> that's not fair i didn't know that was a guy I didn't fucking know. But, but I hated it when someone older did shit like that to me. Like, yeah, you know that's a guy, right? Don't, <laughs> he's like, hey, check out this character. Hey, what do you think about her? Yeah, huh? she's hot, isn't oh, she? Wow, she's pretty hot. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> You're like, yeah, yeah that makes you gay. <laughs> Wait, <what>? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, no, that's not, that's not fair. I'm not gay. <laughs> like, yeah, you are. Totally fucking gay now. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not fucking fair. You can't do that to me. 
for me nowadays it's like did you say yeah i just say okay <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I'm I'm blind sometimes. Okay. Offer the I have cataracts. <laughs> <laughs> I have cataracts. That's my excuse now, Mike. Legally, you have to respect that. I I don't. <laughs> I, I I legally I don't have to do shit. <laughs> I don't have to do shit. Fuck you, Mike. I don't need to respect you anymore. With the goat man yo uh i forget their names the enemies i i don't remember no no i mean like the co the concept where they come from like mexican uh folklore. folklore yeah like they have the the goat head skeletons and shit like that well i don't i don't know if it's specific just to mexico or like just certain regions of it uh-huh because like, I, I mean, it's too broad. It's it's like saying, oh, Christianity in the in the U.S., right? Like, it's not the same everywhere. You know, even even here in the U.S., there's different factions. You got like your Protestants and shit. Like for example, you have your Catholics and so forth. So it, that's that's not what I mean. Uh, Mexico is kind of oh, like shit. the same thing when it comes to folklore. Like their take on one being. It's not necessarily the same uh, throughout the entire country. There are some things that they share in common, but not everything. And that goat head motherfucker is one of those things. It's not a religious thing. It's just kind of a like, you know, uh, a boogeyman kind of shit. <laughs> El Kukui. Oh, what the hey, man. fuck? Would I be a punk ass bitch if I just used the healing item right now? Go ahead, I don't care. I just want to see you complete this game. <laughs> hey, you bitch ass. That's the first. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch ass. <laughs> you could have used a small one. Oh my god. No, 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 no. <laughs> if I'm being honest, Hebert, that's the first item I've ever used in a DMC game. He made you? He made you use it? Yeah, he made me use it. He made you use it. He died. That's the first time I ever used an item. Uh, I, I know how you feel though. That's how I feel about <laughs> flash grenades. <laughs> like, my pride won't allow me to, to fucking use a flash on like a small little enemy. The only time I will use it is if there's like a lot or just like a really, really annoying one. Uh -huh. But there. There you go, Mike. Do you relate now? No, I still should. I still think you should use all those flashes. I know. I know I should have, but I still think you should have used an item several <laughs> times. But you didn't. And now you did. Hey, look, it's a, it's a green orb. Orb, orb. It just gives me, gives me a few reds since I'm already fully healed. Yeah, still. Really? Uh, this oh, uh, right a blue here. yeah it's a fucking blue. blue orb fragment hey life increase what do you prefer the changing of the color of the the health bar or do you want that fucker to go all the way across the screen ah uh, i actually prefer to go all the way across it makes me feel like i'm a boss <laughs> you know what i mean i, I know what you mean <laughs> like a boss of the life bar like even even Dark Souls, like way back when, like it it just pretended to really give you the illusion uh -huh. that you were getting like really strong because you have a longer life bar. But then the boss would just like decimate half of it with just one hit, and you're like, "What the fuck?" And it was it was kind of funny because at that time, like a lot of people were essentially learning, like, yeah the you know increasing your vitality or whatever the fuck yeah. it did help that was it but not like Go a around. lot okay. it wasn't like a big thing it was just help you survive a little more not even big significance like other games when you got a bigger light bar uh -huh. you could take four times the punishment you could take ten times the punishment dark souls is like nah man yeah, your life bar got bigger, but that just means everything that hits you is still gonna hit really hard. 
it's like it's i don't know if it's true or not i don't know if it works on percentages as opposed to a, a, a fucking set number but that shit looks like it hurts to watch half of your light bar just get decimated with one hit And I love Dark Souls. <laughs> I really do love Dark Souls. Yeah, I really want to play that stuff. I want you to play that. I know, like, you, you've you never beaten a Dark Souls game. Yeah, you I beat do. Bloodborne. I've beaten Bloodborne so many times. I have it memorized. You. Every item, every enemy. I know exactly where it is. I, you, I walk you through that game with not being able kind to of. see it. You're like, you, you were like, hey, man. You you want to go down that route? <laughs> and I was like, Hey man, uh, just take a left here. Okay, take a right down there. There's an item over here. What you really want to get is this uh what cord over what here. What you didn't tell me though is like, Hey, you go down that way, you'll come across three guys. You'll come across who, three werewolves who are just gonna like fuck you up real bad. <laughs> and then I went oblivious, like, Oh, it looks relatively safe. Nope. And here's the thing, because I have played Dark Souls before, I should have known that the areas that look relatively safe are never safe. They're never safe, They're never safe but I, I I don't know. I thought Bloodborne. Bloodborne's got to be a little different, right? Nah. Because when I when I first played it, it was like, it, it, it felt different, you know? Yeah. It was whole, uh, dodge. Aspect of... Uh Focusing on attacking rather than defending. Yeah, yeah. fucking like being aggressive. Go being, in. get your being, health back. You want? You got hit? Oh, trade blows. Trade blows. Get your health back. Yeah, get your boat. Like play risky. It wants you to be risky about it. It doesn't want you to be stupid about it, but it wants you to be risky about it. Take the chance. You like high risk, high reward. No. And I, I actually really like that because it, it made me play a Souls game in a different way. But that shit took a lot of effort, Mike. It took a lot of effort to fucking switch it up to their... To what they were demanding of me. Uh-huh. Like it's round two. Neo Angelo? Yep. Ooh. What up, boy? I'm back. That ass. That... Would be wrong, Mike. That would be the Island Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> that would be the Island Brothers. Or uh, the Island Boy. Island Boy. That 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 just gave that phrase a bad taste. <laughs> Let's rock, baby.